Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Far Harbor series where today it's still a bit dark out but the sun should be rising soon for our episode and what we're going to be doing today is the safe passage mission. Now I want to do this one for a couple of reasons today. The first is I am actually a little bit interested about the fog condensers and perhaps learning a bit more about them and of course helping out the town here with uh, their water purifier situation etc. But more importantly, it's part of this whole living on the edge thing so we can mark off the help Captain Avery from the list. Ooh, which actually, another thing we need to do before we do the mission is we have another mission from the Mariner apparently that we can go and do, so I want to get that from her because I want to see what it is, but we're going to do safe passage. And the final reason why I want to do this one today and why, frankly, I'm kind of surprised I didn't do this one earlier it's right there. It's it's just it's it's just right outside the town. Why haven't I done this one yet? <laughs> Why did we instead go over here, then over here, then all the way the crap over here when we had a perfectly fine mission just just right outside the gates? I don't know, but oh well, we'll be good to go for today, so that uh, hopefully should be fun. Now, before we get started, and of course before we get the new Mariner quest, I want to go over a couple of things. The first is, I finally went back to the Commonwealth and grabbed my correct suit of X-01 power armor, with of course the jetpack, so yay, now we can fly in the sky in that. That's just fun. Uh, the next thing is I made a couple of weapon upgrades off camera because, well, in the last few episodes, I have been playing around with a couple of the guns I haven't used in a while, such as our freezing advanced assault rifle, and the reason I hadn't used it is because it kinda sucked compared to my other weapons, damage-wise. And I realized off camera, oh yeah, that's because I haven't upgraded it in ages. It had like the middle tier sort of a receiver on it. I think the powerful receiver, I think, is the one it was. I And I went and upgraded it to the most powerful receiver that I can put on it. So now we have 83 regular physical damage and 16 energy damage with the freezing. So it actually should be a much better gun now. It's almost, not quite, but almost twice the damage, uh, I believe, as when we used it in the previous two episodes. So hopefully that should go well for us. I also did upgrade a thing here, which you guys have been asking me to do for a while, the Overseer's Guardian. You guys told me for, oh boy, pretty much ever since I found this gun, to upgrade it to the .308 rounds, because that is the most powerful receiver you can get for this weapon. And uh, I had the second most powerful receiver on it using its old 45 ammo. But now with the 308, we do 144 damage, which is wonderful. And I apparently have a crap load of 308 ammunition. I didn't realize I had so many, so I've actually got uh, quite a lot for this gun, which is always good. I mean, more ammo is a great thing. I was also going to put a better scope on it, but I ran out of a couple of materials that I needed, and I felt like recording more than going and searching for some things. So that's it for the upgrades. I need to upgrade this. I haven't touched this in ages either. And it is a fun gun. And now that I'm not using the 45 ammo for the Overseer's Guardian, this actually may get used more often because I'll be able to stockpile my 45 ammo with this gun and then just unload on a boss whenever I need to. So that, that should be good. But yes, that is it for the upgrades. So shall we go and talk to the Mariner and see what her new thing is? Ooh, also. Before we do anything, I saw the guy we saved walking around earlier before I started the recording. Where is he? Is that you? The doctor is <gasps> in time. Yay! I will fully recover. Wonderful. This is, this is your doing. It is. But I do not know you. That's because I'm a good some. Oh, hey, that's actually an option. I'm gonna go with. Uh, who are you? No, more strangers. Who exactly are you, anyway? Andre Michaud, with my husband Jean. Mm -hmm. We hunt Mirelarks for nice. their meat, their shells, but the last hunt did not go well. Oh no! Is that what, you know, put you into here? What happened? How not well are we talking about? As bad as it can get. A Mirelark hunter, he 
blindsided John. I managed to pull him out, but I had to run blindly into the fog. Oh yeah, that's John never a good plan. The tracker. He was the one who knows this island. But me, I got turned around. I don't remember what happened. Someone, I don't even know who, found me. Brought me here. And then I gave you that vial of mysterious alien serum. Wonderful. Well, I'm gonna just go with Good Samaritan. I was just doing my civic duty. <laughs> You're obviously not from here. Gratitude. It's a hard thing out here. So, yeah. Did, okay. It has taken my husband. It has taken everything. This island is a sickness. Don't you see? It's evil. I don't know. It hasn't been so bad for me so far. I am going to grab as many guns as I can carry. Okay. And I will slaughter everything in my path. Oh. Until the island is clean. Or I am no more. Oh. Did I, did I in saving this guy just create a psychopathic murderer? <laughs> oh, let's go with this. You're in pain. I've been there. But your plan is unreasonable. It's find a purpose, some constructive purpose to keep you going. You wouldn't know. Once Far Harbor was, well, not thriving, but alive. Mm -hmm. I'll think on what you said. Okay, fair enough, Andre. Just please don't become a psychopathic murderer. Very distracting. What? You know this, yes? I mean, sure, yes. Oh, oh, yes, I forgot about this whole thing that we're actually flirting with her now. Uh, yeah, what the hell? You're pretty distracting yourself. I had a point, a reason. Oh, yes, my control of feelings is worse than before. No, no. You, you are no help. I'm not trying to be. You're teasing a poor little curie. But it is not just you. Sometimes a simple compliment, nice hair, and I am flustered. Welcome to humanity, or as close as, as close as a synth can get. Strangest and most lurid things, and I am even more confused. Why do people do this? Cause that's just humanity. Uh, <laughs> get used to it. I kind of want to say that. Get used to it, babe. Ah, uh, let's just go with the flirt option again. What the hell? Because you're so cute when you're confused. You are not making any of this easier. You? Yeah, not trying to. I must get a handle on this if I am ever to advance my experiments. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. Okay, it's well. The one who still lives. Yes, yes, you are, Andre. Please, once again, do not become a psychopathic murderer. All right, now let's go and talk with um, Mariner. That's her name. Hello. These tools you found are a joy to work with. Excellent. It gave me this idea. Mm -hmm. A cargo freighter founded ages ago to the south. Uh -huh. With a bit of arc welding and some elbow grease, the hull could be reinforced to be sturdy. Ooh. Fierce. Best to do it soon before, well, soon. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why so soon? Why does it need to be soon? I... That's not a matter for you. Just... The hole needs fixing. Okay, okay. Well, um... Sure. Good plan? Sounds like a really good plan. The ship's the MS Azalea. Expect trappers. Mean ones. Of Once course. Once you mop the decks with them, I'll send my crew over. Best of luck. Right. Well, we have a whole breach too. Where in the world is this uh, MS Azalea at? Oh, you probably helped to actually turn the thing on so we could see it on the map. Eh, oh, well, not as far as the other missions I have southward, but all right, that'll be another day. That should be a good uh, mission for probably next episode, perhaps. I don't know, but let's go do the safe passage now. Not that we've wasted ten minutes talking to everyone and flirting with Kiri a little bit more, which interesting. <laughs> I'm always a little bit meh about flirting in games and the whole relationship mechanics that they usually offer. But what the hell, I figured we'd give it a try since I haven't done it with anyone yet in the uh, game. Which, wow, that sounded a bit off. I meant as in we haven't actually done flirting in the game. Uh-huh. Yes, always with the caution. But let's roll this way. Oh god, is this? Am I, am I even going the correct way here? 
You know, I could have jetpacked onto the roof. But I did not. Why did I not? Ooh. Oh. Okay. Hello? Anyone around? Waypoint over there. I'm actually going to go grab while we're here. What do we have? Feral ghouls. Apparently we have feral ghouls. Lovely. And boom. Oh, that was a mess. <laughs> What's a massive whiff? Where is he going? Hi. Oh, one shot to the chest. Oh, uh, thank you guys for suggesting I go with the uh, 308 receiver for this gun. That was a good shot. Oh, hi. I'm going to ignore you and go back to my mission now. <laughs> oh, that was good, though, too, man. One shot right to the chest. Beautiful. Oh, God. The thing's on the ground. Is the guy we're looking for dead? Oh, my lurk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this gun even better now. It fires slightly faster and is way more powerful. Cool. <laughs> and I've got a crap load of ammo for it, so I don't mind just spamming loads of shots. Oh, what the hell? We'll take all of it. Reload. Oh, yeah. He's dead. Fog condenser components. I'll have to the fog condensers myself. Of course. Of course I will. What in the crap is this supposed to be? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Well, I'm taking all your stuff. Well, except for those outfits. I couldn't care less about those. Okay, we got a thing over that way. Where roughly would that be on the map? Oh, that's that thing over here on the island. Oh, my. Oh, so we've got ones all the way down there, huh? Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's, uh... Mm, these ones over here first, I guess. Is there, like, supposed to be one here? Hmm. It looked like we were right on top of a waypoint. Alright, well, let's go to this one. Oh, right next to us. Oh, of course. Of course. Alright, repair. Beautiful. And then those are the only other two. What was that waypoint behind us, then? Huh. Oh, is that just a waypoint on us for some strange reason? Right. Well, I think I see it up there. Let's roll. Uh, ooh, windmill. Multiple windmills. Interesting. A green post-apocalypse. Nice, nice. I'm actually intrigued to see if they are actually powering something up there. Hmm. All right, so just way down here. You know, you'd really think if they send out someone to repair these things, you'd go with, like, a couple of people, you know, some guards or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not just send one lonesome guy in some overalls. Okay, we got the, those all set up now and some lovely receivers. Beautiful. Oh, and of course, things that want me dead. Okay, where's the other? Hello? Ah, you're behind the thing. Indeed they have. Lovely. Some more Mirelurk meat. I think I heard another. Or not. Or not. Are we good? I think we're good. Excellent. And damn, this fog is dense today. Alright, so we just need to head back to town then. I kind of want to take a quick little detour up here to see if there is something about these windmills. Hmm. Let's roll. I'm just curious if there's something up here with them, and it's not just random windmills. And... Jetpack! <laughs> I love this thing. Okay, come on. Okay. Can't. Come on, it's not taking off. Oh, because I'm kind of stuck on something. Lovely. There we go. Okay, what do we got here? Anyone home? Besides radiation clicks on the Geiger counter? No, they are just random windmills, huh? I would have thought that they'd have something up here. I may have spoken too soon. Hello, truck. Are you something of interest? Or do I not care about you? What is... Is that fungi glowing? Hold on. I'm intrigued. Is it a harvestable? It is. It's blight. I'm gonna ignore it. It probably has a use, but meh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, hello? 
Oh. Well. Why haven't you popped? <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot you right there. There we are. Lovely. <laughs> Seriously, how did he not pop yet? And yeah, there's no one inside. Oh, okay. Or nothing, rather. Oh! Oh, there is to be fighting. Oh, there is, Curie. Oh, I am in combat. Again. Not anymore, you aren't. They've all died to my beautiful new gun. God, again, guys. Seriously, thank you for telling me to upgrade to this particular receiver. No police. We we don't need police here, Kiri. We killed them. We killed them. <laughs> All right, let's just roll back this way. Back to town. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed there doesn't seem to be anything with these windmills. You'd think they'd be using them for something directly. Oh, well, back to town we go. And, of course, a little flight with a jetpack. Yay, I was out of action points because I was sprinting. <laughs> well, oh god, I also just noticed my hit points. Oh boy. And so is the downfall with me with uh, power armor. I forget to look at my, my HP. Happens every time. And away we go! A little click, little click, little click. There we go, we're down. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Well, that seems to be it for around here. Any other things we could go grab? I mean, is that thing over there? The uh, yeah, it that should be the island. Someone also told me there was a a quest thing that I could grab outside the of Far Harbor. They said it would be a thing that I would have to click on the ground somewhere. I don't know if I believe them. We have Vim though. Hmm. Hmm. Though you guys have been giving me so many hints about Far Harbor stuff going on that I may be confusing it with something else. Though thank you for all your wonderful hints. You guys have been giving me a lot of good ideas for future episodes for things. But yes, I may very well be confusing some of your hints though. <laughs> that happens. Oh wait, no, I was going the right way. Okay. I turned around thinking, oh, we've gone past it. Nope, 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 we're here. Okay. Let's actually give a look around this immediate area here, because we really haven't. I mean, we were in the big attack thing originally, so I really didn't pay much attention to out here, and then we just kind of left the area. Uh-huh. Very good, Kiri. Very good. Yeah, just kind of looking around, see if there's anything of interest in the area. So we have not given it a once-over yet. Oh, we're back to the church. Meh to that. So Lighthouse Cafe. Good things around here. Oh yeah, I actually wanted to check this out when we were here last time roaming through, but we kind of kept on our mission. Let's check what's in this fresh lobster place. Hello? Enemies, perhaps? Ooh. 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 Uh, it's just a bottle, though. It's not actually wine. Meh. <laughs> I want the innards of said bottle. Alright, nothing here of use. They'll have to remember that there's a sleeping bag there, though. And jetpack. Uh, what the crap is that? There's multiples. That's, uh, that's not creepy at all. No, just giant friggin... Cthulhu-esque car carcasses out there. Well, actually, it's not very Cthulhu-esque, I guess. But, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Or you don't. You probably don't, in fact. <laughs> All right, let's back into town and go and have our little chat with uh, Captain Avery. Uh, yeah, nothing here either. Okay, okay. Guns, guns, and... Hey, Avery. Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? Oh yeah, he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> he is dead. Okay, he didn't, make it. he didn't make it. I should never have let him go out there alone. Well, I said it was paying work. Two hundred caps should be enough. Yeah, sure. What the hell? I'll take it. Uh, need anything else? Is there Anything else I can do to help? I don't know if you've chatted up the Mariner, but she's always mm -hmm. looking for help. I know Cassie Dalton is asking around. Also worked with her. 
Oh well, judge for yourself there. Yeah, already taken care of those. So thank Thanks. you. Glad I could help you out. That makes two of us. Now here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. Right. Later. All right. So we've done safe passage now, which gives us almost done with the living on the. Oh, talk to Teddy Wright. Oh, we. Oh, God, yeah, I forgot we still have the other Dalton thing to go kill the the trapper leader. And dear God, that was a loud motorcycle outside. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I surely did. Jesus. I have noise canceling headphones too, and I could hear that. Wow. <laughs> so we've got the trapper leader still to kill. We've got this uh, kill more trappers at this boat. Uh, we have, of course, the Dalton Farm deadliest catch that we have to do to kill the giant hermit crab. And, oh yeah, we still have the actual main storyline that we came here for. So what's the talk with Teddy Wright thing? Let's go, uh, let's go have a chat with him. Is he on the marker? Yep. Hi. Hello. Am I? Our friendly town doing its best to chase you out. You keep helping us ingrates all the same. You know, you guys actually really haven't tried to kick me out at all. Why do you keep at it? Uh, yeah, like I said, you really haven't tried to kick me out at all. You've all been rather pleasant, really, except for him. But I think he's just kind of a douche. So, uh, what the hell? You're good people? Question mark. <laughs> good people in some dire straits. Figured you could use a hand. Huh? <laughs> you running for office? I don't know, maybe. If that's the truth, we don't deserve you. Most folk here are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good with them. Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. Wow. There's a way, a downright insane way, mind you, that you can turn even the most stubborn fool around. And how's that? Beat them in a drinking contest? I could probably do that one. So... Why? Why are some harbormen so hostile to outsiders? Most of the folk on this rock believe they've been given the God-given right to walk here. Way I figure it, if you got the moxie to survive, you earned your place. And I do like moxie. Okay, so I guess let's change opinions. I'd love to change their opinion of me. Do it right, and all mainlanders might get treated better. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the captain's dance oh god i suck at dancing <laughs> the toughest, meanest and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them uh-huh once the would-be captain killed the myrler queen or fall crawler oh i killed one of those you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty you do this well you won't be made captain oh you'll earn respect but I already have the fancy hat for a captain. <laughs> All right. Uh, will this really work? So if we throw this dance, it'll really change their minds. The dance hasn't been done in living memory. Some people think their tradition is dead, but its history is so deep in this island. You do it, and it'll turn heads for certain. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm apparently ready to become a... Well, let's go with the Y helping. Why my job is to heal people, and not just from the physical type of injuries. Uh -huh. The island's in trouble like it's never been. And you might, just might, be the medicine we desperately need. Of course, of course. Well, what the hell? I'm ready to become a legend, then. You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old Meyer Lurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway, a treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. Cool, cool. Wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. All right. Well, we have the rite of passage mission. Okay, fair enough. So that'll probably be several episodes from now. Who knows? But uh, it's a good start. So we have a way to change the minds of the people here who really you don't seem to need their minds being changed oh oh we completed living on the edge oh wait no we didn't we still had the optional to help things 
Well, I mean, we still have the missions for them, so I guess that's all that really matters. But okay, interesting, fair enough. But yeah, that is actually going to be it for today's episode, folks. I think in the next we'll do... Hull Breach, maybe? Where, where is, well, let's check. Where's Hull Breach on the map? Where was that? Just down, yeah, just down here. Yeah, I think we'll do that because that'll also then be a convenient marker for us to then move down this way because we got stuff in the south to do. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that in the next episode. Granted, getting there may take most of the episode. Where is this rite of passage? Ah, uh, over there. Not too far from a post we already have, so not bad. Then, of course, we have our deadliest catch thing and Blood Tide, which are way in the south. So, yeah, I think we'll do Hull Breach 2 in the next episode. I think that'll make for a fun one. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and, of course, that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And, as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to fly on this roof. Ooh! There was a hole. Oh, I wanted to land on the roof and be like, yeah, there we go, later folks, but no, I fell perfectly right where there's a hole. Ugh, I give up. Later! <laughs>